Hello there guys and welcome to this very special video from Ben's Tech Tips. In this video we'll be looking at Windows 8 RTM. Okay so Microsoft has sent me a Windows 7, Windows 8 rather, uh, Windows 8 Professional Retail RTM. So that's released to the manufacturers um, basically before it gets released to the general public. Okay, so um, I'm just going to show you it in a virtual machine. In this video, this is part one, I'm going to be showing you uh, the install and how to install it and the setup. And in the part two, I'll actually be going through some of the apps in Windows 8. Okay, so I'm going to power on this virtual machine. Okay, so let's type to boot off the um, CD-ROM drive by selecting that there and as usual all we need to do is just boot off the CD-ROM drive where you will be greeted by a rather unfamiliar looking setup screen. And this does take a second to boot, although I found out that the Windows 8 install is considerably smaller than the Windows 7. Okay, so they've gone with a different theme uh, in Windows 8 in the setup, and I'm from the UK, so that's what I'm going to select. You'll see that it is familiar to the Windows 7 setup. Um, just a little different because they have to make it a little bit different don't they so while the setup is starting you'll need to enter your product key uh, I'm going to use the one that Microsoft has sent me uh, which I'll blank out so you can't see it obviously because I won't give, give it you order so once you've entered your product key click next and it will validate using complicated algorithms Right, that's right. Um, uh, it doesn't work because I've typed it wrong. Uh, let's find out where I've gone wrong. I'm master of this, so I've just lost character there. They do give you a link to the Windows keyboard so you can type in if you're using a tablet uh, PC. You need to accept the license terms and run a customised setup. So I'm going to delete the petition on the hard disk and start the install. Okay, so as usual this takes a little while, between 15 and 20 minutes, something like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to pause, pause the video and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so as you can see we're approaching the end of the uh, first part of the installation, the bit that takes the longest. Okay, so once it's done it will go ahead and reboot okay um, okay so we need to go ahead and restart the computer and this is the new uh, boot screen you will notice that the um, virtual machine on mine will not record properly and that's because it's a virtual machine and they don't like um, having heavy graphical products installed on them. I have tried this out on a physical system and it is very very smooth and I generally like it. It's either something you love or you hate and you'll see why in a minute when we get into Windows you'll see that it takes not a lot of time to get the devices ready in Windows 7 it did and the machine will reboot again that's because it's just installed the drivers and on this boot it should boot up into the new Windows 8 OS 
Okay, so we're now at the new installation uh, wizard. Here you go. So, as you can see, Microsoft have given us lots of options to customize our machines. So we can choose which color we want. Um, for me, I'm just going to go for the standard purple one. And then we'll call this Windows 8 PC. But you can call it what you like. Okay, so we're going to use Express Settings. We're going to not use a Microsoft Live ID just for the purpose of this video. It saves a lot of time. So, Windows 8 and insert your password and the password hint if you like and click finish and it will start finalizing your settings. Okay. So this is where Windows says welcome to you. Now some of you may be going, oh look at this, this looks well good. And some of you may be going, this looks absolutely terrible. A friend of mine said earlier that some people hate it and some people will say it's the best thing since Vista which as we all know Vista was shit so you can move your mouse into any of the corners and they will do different things so for example you'll be able to move your cursor to the right top of the right hand corner and it will show you the new sidebar I think I can't remember the name of it but um, anyway it's booted now so here we go at the new start menu and as you can see we're now in the new Windows 8 OS we can switch back to the desktop and okay so we can go to the start menu and generally it's a nice experience Okay, so thanks for checking out my part 1 video to the new Windows 8 OS. Please check out my part 2 video, which is coming up now, uh, by clicking the button below. Please like, rate, comment and subscribe to Ben's Tech Tips for more computer videos.